This is J.B. Askew, uh, private practice pathologist in Houston, Texas. This afternoon I wanted to talk to you about digital pathology and specifically uh, the RTIS system. Um, we have uh, developed a, a new application for this uh, system and I uh, wanted to talk to you about it. The RTIS stands for Real-Time Telepathology System. Remote conferencing is now possible using the RTIS. The example we're going to use is the weekly breast conference that we've been doing since 1996. What's needed, you ask? Well, the RTIS, of course. Uh, the PASSCAN enabler uh, is uh, very useful to have as well. And, of course, broadband internet. Let's look at an example. A patient visits a comprehensive breast center. Mammographic workup reveals a lesion. A needle core biopsy is taken. Pathology is malignant. The patient is presented at the next weekly breast conference. In attendance are surgeons, mammographers, pathologists, medical and radiation oncologists, all to discuss uh, the patient's problems for five to 15 minutes. The surgeon is first, of course, outlines the history and physical findings, the past medical history is discussed, and the workup so far is presented. The mammographer is next. He projects uh, images on a large screen. Uh, these include the initial mammographic workup. Uh, he shows three, uh, 3D or tomosynthesis uh, images. Ultrasound images are shown. And MRI uh, options are discussed. If an MRI is uh, done, those will be shown also. The third uh, physician is a pathologist who also projects on a large screen. Whole mount images of uh, the needle core biopsy if appropriate. He shows microscopic images at various magnification powers. Shows an abstract of the final diagnosis. And then that is uh, when the uh, uh, conference is turned over to all of the physicians in the room to discuss what's best for this patient. So let's start uh, with an example of how this would work. A, a woman, 40, at 59, has a needle core biopsy of the breast, and the pathologist first uh, shows a whole mount image. If you look uh, at these uh, four cores, actually copied from the glass slide, you notice uh, right away that this is abnormal breast tissue. And if you look where the arrow is showing, this is dense breast tissue. There's a lot of blue and pink present and uh, no fat. So uh, this is an example then of abnormal breast tissue. And the comment can be made to the mammographer uh, that they did a very good job in sampling the tissue. And the surgeon sees as well um, that he's dealing with abnormal uh, breast tissue. So what we do now is uh, go to the microscope and we do this uh, using the RTIS system. What we're looking at now uh, in focus uh, is infiltrating carcinoma of the breast and this is real-time HD video, so we uh, carefully move the slide around to demonstrate uh, the tumor uh, growing in fibrous tissue and going, growing between uh, fat. Um, some people have uh, made the comment that uh, the other digital pathology systems are uh, not good at higher power. Here's 200, nicely in focus and uh, demonstrating uh, nuclear detail, which is important to the pathologist. The other thing you'll notice is that I'm focusing up and down, which pathologists like to do, uh, looking at uh, detail of the cell. Now, what the other imaging systems can't do is go to uh, 40x or 400 power. Look at the detail of these nuclei. You can see the cytoplasm you can see the nucleus and you can see nucleoli. And if you want, we can turn on uh, the uh, arrow 
and uh, move it around to demonstrate cellular detail that we want you to see. So here's a nucleus, small nucleolus. We move over here. Here's a nucleus that's elongate. Uh, other groups of cells we can point out. So everyone can look at this and see exactly what the pathologist is seeing at a remote location. As an example of the versatility of the, this system, um, at a conference after presenting the final diagnosis, uh, someone in the audience might say, well, um, did you do uh, an aspiration on the lymph node? And um, I could uh, absolutely say, yes, we did. Uh, the slide is right here. Let me put it on the screen uh, for you and demonstrate what we found. So here's an example of an FNA taken from an axillary lymph node after the core biopsy was done. And uh, what you can clearly see here are abnormal cells uh, and uh, very few cells other than um, malignancy. Um, this is a beautiful example of how the RTIS performs. It's very versatile and you can um, show things on the fly if you have the slides uh, next to the microscope. Uh, one other thing that has been mentioned and I've talked about it before is cytopathologists say well I need the highest dry power possible and the other systems uh, don't do that. Look at what happens at uh, 40x. Uh, Exquisite cytopathology uh, that is, is hard to believe till you see it uh, on your own uh, large screen monitor. Uh, I might uh, add that one of the uh, aspects of the RTIS is large uh, screen monitors and in my um, office I have a 42 inch commercial grade HD monitor and the images are absolutely unbelievable. This is a great system and its versatility is unparalleled. So let's recap what we've talked about on remote uh, conferencing. In the usual setting the pathologist is present at breast conference enter the RTIS and now it's possible for the pathologist to remote conference. By using the RTIS and broadband internet, live HD video images of breast histology can be shown and at the end of that presentation the final diagnosis uh, is reported. And here's an example of the case that we uh, demonstrated. Um, the final diagnosis, it's abstracted, but it tells all the pertinent information. Left breast mass, 10 o'clock, ultrasound guided needle core biopsy, invasive carcinoma with a mixed growth pattern, intermediate uh, uh, histologic grade based on those numbers, the ER is 100%, PR 75, and FISH, uh, HER2 uh, equivocal at 1.9. Uh, we also uh, showed uh, FNA of the left axillary lymph node and metastatic carcinoma compatible with a breast primary was diagnosed. Hi, this is uh, J.B. Askew signing off. I just wanted to uh, tell you the RTIS system is an amazing piece of equipment to use. It uses your microscope and some electronics and will dazzle you and all of your colleagues uh, when you begin to use it. You can use it for frozen sections, you can use it in cytopathology, and uh, now uh, we've documented that you can use it uh, for remote uh, conferencing. It's an unbelievable system made here in Houston, Texas by Meyer Instruments.